Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Bruce. I'm the uh, Director of Research and Technology of VDW, the German Machine Tool Builders Association. And in my presentation, I'd like to give you an introduction into UMATI, Universal Machine Technology Interface, the community to propagate and disseminate OPC UA standards in the world of machinery. First of all, let me give you an introduction about what UMATI actually is. So UMATI is an alliance of machine builders from various sectors of the machine building industries and software suppliers who team up together to bring a common interface concept based on OPC UA into the market. That means build a common ecosystem. We want to reach out jointly to involve our end customers and operators worldwide, a global community, because many of the end users and operators use different technology in their machinery or job shop. But uh, standardization is usually taken care of by a variety of work groups. And to bring them all together, we want to build this community. Then certainly we want to provide the user benefit of plug and play across all those technology domains which is something that uh, also goes beyond the scope of pure standardization work. We want to prove that this kind of interconnectivity can be realized by live demonstrations, and we want to create trust in this technology via test certification and labeling. And uh, we want to jointly carry out marketing and public relations work uh, to this regard. Next, I want to show you why UMATI is required. Let me start with uh, standardization via OPC UA. Now, OPC UA is quite convenient to use um, if you need basic functionality um, for devices to communicate. And uh, OPC UA will, with its base technology, provide all that. So it enables devices how to communicate with each other. If you transfer that maybe to, to the picture of the human language, uh, the machine should speak the same language. And in the spoken language, that means you have to agree on grammar and syntax and vocabulary and so on. And when it comes to uh, connecting IT devices, you also have to agree on syntax and methods and uh, protocols and transportation mechanisms. So this is very well provided with the OPC UA base specifications. Then the next step is uh, because you need different dictionaries for different technologies that you provide these technology specific dictionaries so machines will know what they have to communicate. And let me give you a little overview on what that means. I have uh, stolen a slide from my friends at VDMA here. And if you see uh, all the groups that are mentioned in this slide, these are the groups that VDMA represents. So you could say this is the machinery industry and the machine building industry in all its uh, variety and complexity and all the groups that have a little box around them that is not gray are already active in developing and working on OPC UA companion specifications for their technology and certainly um, for example automated guide vehicles have other demands for signals they have to exchange than intralogistic systems or measurement technology or paper technology or machine tools or robotics so it is important to have a lot of specific dictionaries, like in the real world, uh, if I'm talking to engineers right now, they understand me quite well, but if I would be talking to uh, lawyers or uh, doctors, um, they would may maybe have a difficulty following me because they use different dictionaries. One thing we are already working with, and there are other presentations that you can dive into, is uh, that uh, we started harmonizing uh, this variety to uh, give a base specification, uh, which is called OPC UA for machinery, because some things should be identical and harmonized across all these technologies, but this is uh, very limited. So in the end, when we have done what we are doing right now, we have OPC UA, which is developed to, to, to serve the basic needs, and we have the component specifications. This is what we can call semantic interoperability. That means devices understand each other. But this requires two additions. For one, standardization always leaves room for interpretation. This is uh, by design because standardization cannot take care of every aspect of uh, future implementation of the standard, and it needs to give certain liberties to whoever implements the standard to adapt it to his personal needs or to the needs of his technology. 
And certainly just writing standards is not enough to penetrate a global market. And this is exactly where Umati comes in. So Umati as a universal machine technology interface is currently sponsored by VDMA and VDW. And it aims at two things. The one is, as I mentioned before, to realize plug and play, which means we focus on identical implementation of these companion specifications for the machinery sector. And the second issue is building a global community from machine builders, uh, software makers, and in the end, all the users that want to like to use these machines. In other words, Umati brings machine builders and users together. What does that mean? On the one side, we have the machine builders who are active in their technology groups. They have working groups, they are presented uh, by associations, and in the end, they have products they bring to the market. And usually they will bring this into the market more or less independently of other groups. But when you see on the other side, the user of machinery, he will produce a product on the base of these technologies but he will have a multitude of technologies in his production and uh, for example if he's making cars he will have other needs than when he's making airplanes or defense equipment or uh, build machines or do other stuff so somehow you have to bring these two groups together to make the equipment that has now open communication capabilities together with the users that simply want to hook it up to whatever their personal ecosystem in terms of the manufacturing equipment and the IT system looks like. To that end, as I mentioned before, first of all, the machine builders and software makers should go together and say, we make a joint promise. We will deliver plug and play to the customers. They should not have the requirement and the need to take care of anything but plugging in the machine into the ecosystem and it should be working. Certainly this knee means that we have to agree on some identical implementation. Um, while we still need the different uh, standards for different technologies, they should all in the end, uh, when it is implemented, more or less uh, use the same mechanisms to make this plug and play possible. Certainly you should prove that this is really working. And for that, uh, we have designed a, a live demonstration and showcase I'm going to talk about in a minute and uh, it requires feedback from users because this is also very important as i said users use multiple machinery in their manufacturing to do whatever they do but the technology is coming from different groups uh, and, and sectors that work more or less independently and uh, there is a saying by the former secretary of state uh, of the us uh, mr henry kissinger who said who am i going to call if i want to talk to europe and here it is the same. Who am I going to call if I want to talk about interoperability and connectivity of machines within my workshop? Should I discuss it with every single group? Or should I have an entity in between that will cater to my needs and then channel whatever information is required to the different groups back to them and, and close the circle of this kind of feedback and uh, closed loop communications? This is a very important thing that Umati wants to solve. Certainly, we have to exchange best practices and discuss about lessons learned to get uh, newcomers up to speed quickly and to avoid making the same mistakes twice. And this will only work if we have an international acceptance. Now, at the moment, it is uh, initiated, Umati is initiated by German uh, associations, but from the very beginning, we reached out to all our international association friends and also to the most important uh, companies that do business internationally because an open standard and an open community should be there once to serve all the world. And it does not make sense to break this down into localized events because in the end we are doing global business. Our customers are doing global business. And that means uh, we should all use the same mechanisms wherever we produce the equipment and wherever in the world we will use it. A very short technical slide, how does it work? And when you look at the, the picture uh, I have put here, uh, we have this, uh, let me just frankly call it a zoo of different uh, OPC UA specifications. 
And certainly we have to keep this variety in order to be flexible to serve customer needs and to get standardization done uh, in the first place. On the other side, uh, we have software systems and uh, we believe that for a software system, it should be an easy feat to be able to cope with all these variety of specifications. When you connect a device, uh, the software can read out which specification uh, the product is using right now and then put, this, put the right parameters in the right context because this is all made in the specification. But the umbrella or, or the box around it um, to harmonize things on a way that goes beyond the scope of single working groups and that maybe also goes beyond the scope of a base specification like OPC UA for machinery. This is what Umati aims at. So we will endorse uh, groups and specifications that are there. Then we uh, will integrate them in a common framework. Uh, so we will uh, standardize things that go beyond what is standardized in the standard itself. But, um, certainly for that, we want to use OPC UA standards as far as possible. But to be prag pragmatic, there are always examples where we want to put things simply to work into your machine shop. Uh, and at the moment you can't because maybe the technology is specified, but it is not available yet uh, in products. So then you need some intermediate technology and you have to agree on that. But uh, the standardization for the different technologies and in the sectors still stays the same and is independent uh, uh, of Umati, which, as I mentioned before, tries to put a nice frame around them and gets as many companies to be involved and, cat and cater to their customers as possible. If you think about what could be your benefits as a partner, well, that means um, certainly because you're using harmonized things, it saves costs for producing your products and improving them. Um, you can be part of the community, like we are all used to seeing small stickers on, on IT equipment that says, well, uh, I'm using things that are acknowledged by a larger group or by the customer group. You can prove that by using the Umati logo. Certainly that gives you easier access to your customers. Um, we can do the marketing and create visibility together. Uh, with a global community, you can be sure that everybody together is running in the right direction. And certainly a community will produce uh, exclusive information and tools. And in the end, and I'm going to talk about that just for a minute uh, in the next slides, we should demonstrate this user experience, uh, for example, in trade shows. Uh, because it's really hard to see and feel how data confluence works. So we put a very strong focus on being able to do this um, with a demonstrator infrastructure. So let me give you some details on why we want to do this kind of live demonstration and what kind of resources Umati provides for its partners. Well, certainly we use this kind of live demonstration to create a user experience so they can actually grasp and experience data flow. This requires that we have an open and common setup to which all the partners universally can connect. And we have to demonstrate that a crisscross connectivity can be realized even at trade show conditions. So that means even for time limited special setups, we can interconnect different machinery types, different technologies and different software. To that end, Umati has uh, made some resources that can be used by Umati partners. We created infrastructure, a data hub that can uh, aggregate data coming from OPC UA servers and can send this uh, aggregated data to OPC UA clients for various software. We have created a dashboard where everybody can see how the data from a machine is streaming in. And we have added security layers, mostly based on VPN. We have created templates, cookbooks, and in the nutshell explanations, how to get connected to these infrastructure and how to bring OPC UA to a machine. And certainly we have provided marketing materials and support our group in marketing at trade shows. One example I can show you here is the live demonstration we had last year at EMO Hannover. EMO is the world's largest metalworking trade show. And we had 110 machines that had OPC UA servers connected to the data hub. And we had 28 software solutions that has the respective uh, OPC UA clients also connected with the OPC UA data hub involved with 70 companies from 10 countries. And because we strictly used an OPC UA companion specification for machine tools, 
and uh, some further instructions how to implement it, all those machines and all those software services could interconnect without any direct interaction between the interacting partners. So our uh, instructions were very precise and could just be in implemented and we were ready to run the show. For the user, every connected machine had a sticker which had a QR code. So the, so the visitor of the trade show could scan the QR code with his own uh, smartphone and see live how the data from the machine that he was standing next to was streaming in. Now my last slide is hopefully uh, your last question. What's next and how can I be part of it? Well, we are open for everybody who wants to, to share our vision of uh, supplying um, plug and play connectivity. Uh, unfortunately, we could not demonstrate this due to the SARS COVID uh, pandemic this year but we are planning for uh, further showcases where we want to put this demo infrastructure live uh, and experienceable for users. And certainly we are at the moment uh, working on uh, integrating more technologies. So please, if you want to be uh, part of it, contact us or contact me. And uh, with this, I would be at the end of my presentation. Here you see my contact information, so if uh, any questions are left open, feel free to contact me directly. Thank you.